Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org and in this video I'm going to revisit the uh, previous network diagramming video I had and uh, just kind of update it. So previously I was on like LibreOffice 4.3 and basically all you had to do was just download your extensions and just add them here. Uh, like 3015 this says these are two uh, Cisco packages that I downloaded and uh, you, they used to show up right here. And you can see Cisco, well I created that myself. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that right here. But uh, just so you know that uh, those, it's not as plug and play anymore with the uh, Cisco icons. Uh, the VRT that I showed you previously is. It still just goes right in and uh, you can just go right down here and use those if you wish. But I'm going to show you how to just create a new theme with the Cisco icons. So uh, first what you're going to do is just go search for your network topology icons and you see you have two choices down here EPS and JPEG don't uh, from my experience EPS is uh, grainy it's like there's spots on it and stuff like that it's not good uh, so what I did got the JPEG now you get a zip file unzip this to a folder just remember you know wherever that folder is after that all we do go to new theme give it whatever theme you want and go find files downloads Cisco 3015 JPEG. You see, I already tried it with this, it just didn't show up well. So, 3015 JPEG, okay, and then these are all of the icons here. You can go preview and just go add all. Give it a couple seconds, and then just hit OK, and you should be good to go. See, new theme right there. So, it has all your basic, uh, you know, a lot of good networking icons that you can use and play around with and uh, there's a basic router in there somewhere too uh, it's hiding but uh, you know a lot of different stuff that you're going to use so I think most network diagramming tasks that you'd be using uh, this is going to be sufficient for that I mean there's even a D slam so uh, and after that you know it's just a matter of uh, connecting them and playing around and doing all that stuff but uh, basically all I wanted to show you was just how to create this theme to get these icons back because it's not as uh, you can't just add it as an extension you just basically create your own extension here so uh, that's all I wanted to show you in this video and stay tuned for future videos